This video will guide you through the nematode extraction approach of the soil bone food web team. We use Berman funnels as the recommended extraction method. If you need to craft this type of extractor, please approach us for instructions. We use half of the 5 cm soil core collected for wet extraction to extract nematodes and another half to extract anhydrates, which is covered in another video. First, we homogenize the soil and litter to destroy large aggregates. Do it carefully, do not smash the animals inside. Second, we weight the entire sample and write down the result. Now we need to take a subsample that will form only 1 cm thickness layer on top of the milk filter inside the sieve. It is important not to put more substrate. This will reduce extraction efficiency. We usually use a standard vessel to take the appropriate amount of soil and litter. Now we record the weight of the subsample to recalculate the nematode densities after extraction. To prepare the extractor, place the funnels in the funnel holders. Attach the vials at the bottom of the hoses and fill the funnels with drinking water by about a half. Gently place the sieves with soil and litter on top of the funnels. The substrate should be fully soaked but not submerged completely. Add more water if needed but not too much. The extraction is run for 72 hours at room temperature, but we need to remove extracted animals regularly every 24 hours to prevent decay and predation. To remove the extracted animals, strangulate the hose with tweezers or your fingers, gently remove the vial and replace it with a new one filled with water. This procedure is repeated three times in total. Every time we remove the vials, we let the animals sediment for 30 minutes. Now, when all animals are at the bottom of the vial, we need to replace water with ethanol. We carefully remove three quarters of water from the top of the vial and fill the vial with 96% ethanol. Label the vial and store it in a fridge. When the extraction is finished, we need to put together the three portions of nematodes from the same soil sample collected during the three days. To do this, we carefully remove three quarters of ethanol from the top of each vial. Then we transfer the rest of the ethanol with nematodes to one of the three vials. To be sure that all nematodes are transferred, rinse the vials and repeat the transfer. Put the label in the vial, close and store it in a freezer. If you have any questions, contact us.